élevé. President Jair Bolsonaro says the situation is under control. He sent in the army and the rainy season has arrived. Brazil, he says, will solve its own problems. We'll look after the Amazon. Nós vamos, se Deus quiser, juntos. God willing, together we will find a solution to these fires and give satisfaction to the rest of the world. And people who think like Mr. Macron should think two or three times before wanting to get out of a complicated situation, like he finds himself with an enormous rejection rate in his country and wanting to damage us. After a meeting in Brasilia with Amazon state governors, Bolsonaro even suggested there should be more development in the Amazon region. Hours later, a congressional committee approved an amendment to allow commercial agriculture on indigenous reservations, something that is currently prohibited. We're winning this war with the support of you all to show what the Amazon region is, to show its potential and the benefits it can bring to all, including our brothers, the Indians. Bolsonaro has the support of the US president, with whom he has a close relationship and a shared love of tweeting. Reaction in Brazil to their president's handling of the crisis has been mixed. No one can live completely alone. No one grows alone. Any hope is always welcomed, as long as it's well intended. Aid cannot be linked to any kind of submission to foreign countries. Brazil must have autonomy over the Amazon. We cannot accept this internationalization of the Amazon. Any further development of the Amazon will be met with strong opposition from around the world. However, it's the indigenous communities who live in the forest, those with the most to lose, who will react the strongest. But for the people who live here in the Amazon region, this is normal, natural. They burn. And they will burn again next year, because they believe, with the backing of their political leaders, that this is the best way to develop this land. Bolsonaro believes this is Brazil's land to develop and resents foreign interference. But the international community feels it can't simply watch as the so-called lungs of the earth burn. Daniel Schweiner, Al Jazeera, Porto Velho, northwestern Brazil.